identical to the performers. Hey everyone, we're here at the MOVA booth and I'm with Steve Perlman, who is the CEO and President. And we're taking a look at the Contour Reality Capture technology. So tell me a little bit about this technology. So this is a surface capture technology that we're primarily applying to faces here. But what we're able to do is do motion capture on a performer, which captures the face at a level of detail where when you're rendering a computer-generated head, it essentially looks almost completely lifelike. And uh, we've never really had access to technology like that in feature films, let alone in video games. And what's really exciting that we're showing at the Game Developer Conference for the very first time is this technology running in game game in the Unreal Engine live. So you actually can go and control it, manipulate it, and you can say, wow, this kind of face is going to be really be in a video game. So how do, how's the setup? How's the technology work? How do you uh, get from a human to this level of uh, CG? What we do is we take a performer and we take a phosphorescent makeup, actually kind of glow-in-the-dark makeup you might use for Halloween, and you sponge it on the performer's face. Then you put the performer in front of an array of special fluorescent lights and cameras. And what happens is the lights flash on and off really, really fast, uh, like you know, 90 to 120 times a second. So it's above the threshold perception, so you don't see them flashing. But during that brief moment when the lights are off, we have the camera shutters open, so the room's completely dark there. What do they see? They see the glow of the random pattern coming off the performer's face. And then one camera will like find a pattern like on the cheek, another camera will scan, match that pattern, triangulate, and we get the 3D position. We do that across the entire face, and we're capturing the face with an accuracy of a tenth of a millimeter. And then when the lights turn on, what the camera sees is, of course, the face as human beings see it, you know, totally normally lit. And uh, we can track the eyeballs, we can track the teeth, tongue, and so on, and also capture the surface of the skin if they want, we want to what it looks like. So then we put those pieces together in the computer and voila, what you end up is with a computer generated photoreal human. So who's using this technology now? Is it out there in any games yet or something we should be looking for in the near future? So we have uh, just introduced the technology a little over a year ago and you know the development cycle for video games and movies is two to three years. So yes, people are using it for both feature films and movies. In fact, I got to skedaddle out of uh, the show down to LA for a shoot that we're doing uh, just in a couple days. And uh, you will begin to see the stuff coming out in 2008 and then a lot more in 2009 and you're going to see some unbelievable stuff coming that I don't think people will even imagine today uh, based on what people have figured out they can do with this that is also going to come out. This is the tip of a very very large iceberg. So is this technology a lot more expensive than traditional marker tracking or is it something that is going to be widely available to developers? So uh, we are a, a motion capture studio and we do marker based capture as well and this costs about the same. So, to, you know, to shoot a face, whether it's marker-based or contour-based, it's about the same. The difference is, with markers, we'll give you a few hundred points. With contour, we'll literally give you, you know, tens of thousands of points, uh, or a few hundred points, whatever you want. You know, uh, and you can, you know, if your PS3, Xbox 360 can handle a few hundred points now, well, your PS4 and your Xbox 720, whatever it is, <laughs> will be able to handle a lot more. And uh, will uh, the same shoot of a very, you know, high-end actor or an athlete or something will be able to, of course, scale to that. So what's great about it is it doesn't, it actually reduces the cost of production a lot because, of course, what we're handing them is something which is such good quality from the get-go that they have a lot less work to do in order to bring it into the game. Their schedules are more predictable and so on. And the directors get an idea of what the character looks like right from the beginning. All right, well, it looks really phenomenal. Thank you very much. All right. At GDC 2008, I'm Veronica Belmont for Joystick. And this is the output for a motion capture company. Two 